Even during the hearing, Talizor's first thought is to protect the fleet. Mm hmm. The human can work a crowd, I'll admit that much. I didn't notice that. Loyalty to the fleet is about more than just killing them. Talizor is guilty. Doctor, those real. It's a husk, a collector minion. No, Vitor, this is Shepard, a friend of Talizor's. Shepard rescued you from Freedom's Progress. Do you remember? Shepard? Shepard gave me the Cerberus. Too many questions. Can't sleep. Can't eat. Wrong answers. Poor Vitor. What did Cerberus do to him? When they returned Vitor to us, he was suffering from malnutrition, exhaustion, dehydration, and the after effects of several drugs. I was told that Cerberus would just get him stabilized and get information from him. Too many questions. Needles for wrong answers. Can't breathe. Suits air not working. Can't breathe. They said he would be safe. I knew we couldn't trust them. Ah, uh, excuse me. Your presence seems to be disturbing my patient. I didn't mean to upset him. I'll leave. Doctor, is it time for the meds yet? I need my meds. Not yet, Vitor. Soon. And now he's not crouching anymore. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. Tali was with me. Saren and the Geth would have destroyed us all without her help. Your political machinations are transparent, Commander. They are also unnecessary. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Little. We detected several communication signatures before the Geth jammed the comm systems. Given the likely networked intelligence requirements for taking over a ship, expect between 10 and 50 units. Then, this can't have anything to do with me. I only sent parts and pieces, and certainly not enough to make that many guess. Sounds like your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Han Geralt sees an enemy that must be crushed. Salchorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shalaran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, perhaps we have ideas in common. If we don't find Rail alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That would favor peace then, as Shala Ran is too careful to risk her own neck. But. If the Admiral replacing Rail agrees with me, things could become very exciting. You support experiments on living creatures. Rail should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. A ship travels faster than I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. I thought it was common practice for, uh, for, you know, doctors to do surgery on, practice surgery on toys. If they have human-like stuff. Because, you know, proper surgery dummies are really expensive. And if you're training, then you're not going to have any money, because it's also very expensive to, to be a doctor in a lot of the, all of the countries of the world. If you're not interested in this trial, why not recuse yourself? And let that aging warship, Han Geral, and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is too important. Tali Zora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. And what is the true purpose of this trial, Admiral? To determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. So the only reason you care about this is because Rael might have learned something valuable from the Geth. Indeed. If he has, then even in this accident we may find something worthwhile. You want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. 
I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters, the Quarian race. You're insane. Uh, yeah, yeah, using the, the Geth, it's, yeah, that's, uh, fair. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. Mm-hmm. Sure. Call Rieger. Shepard, Telizora. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Telly Zora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but... Well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy? Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation? The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's son? Keela, I hope not. If they can screw up a star, our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't think this is the Geth. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> I hope you're right, ma'am. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. What does that dark energy buildup mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard, I don't know what it means. Just that it has the scientists worried. Hopefully it's isolated. Some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material. Probably not something to worry about now. But resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. Have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in front might fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly. Fast. We should get going. Good luck on the Alarai. Stay safe out there. You set me up, Shala! You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The Admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Alary. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. At least someone here is looking out for Tali. Will retaking the Alarai really help her case? Tali showing a desire to correct mistakes she may have made will make up for a lot of lost ground. But more importantly, you may find evidence of what happened. With luck, it will exonerate Tali from any wrongdoing. I'm supposed to care about that now? All I want to do is find Father. You should get to the Alarai soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? What can you tell us about the Alarai? Not much, I'm afraid. Real Zoro only said that he was researching new defense technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship? That's exactly what I am saying. 
The Marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Riel was an admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week. But it was worth it. I was the one who took Tali from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming of age. Yeah, because the suits would be expect. Can you imagine? You have to have like 50 suits for the kids at all the different stages of growth. I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Hanshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Riel was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tally and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the admirals? Tally, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. There seem to be some other arguments going on among the Admirals. You caught that. Yes, the guest's presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the home world. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tali, but others are. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. We should move on. Good luck on the Alarai. Which way the wind is blowing. I wonder if that's going to be Mass Effect 3. Tally. I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And your Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarel Vasnima. To be honest, I was afraid a human would be too meek and humble. Watching you rail away at Admiral Chorus, though. Tally's in good hands. I get the sense you're inclined to believe the defense. I'm glad one of the judges is. If you were only giving Rail inactive equipment for weapons, Tess, I've got no problem. We need to test weapons against Geth material. I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Nothing good. We sent some of our best marines into that hellhole. Damn few made it back. Whatever Rail was doing, it blew up in his face. A ship is crawling with Geth. Don't go in expecting survivors. Admiral, my father, your friend, is on that ship! I know that, Tully, but if Shala hadn't suggested you might volunteer, we'd already have destroyed the Alarai. That's where we stand. Can you tell me about the other admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? The one you didn't recognize Tally is Admiral Zen. She's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. Admiral Chorus is the same whining suit wetter he always was. You disagree with Admiral Chorus's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? The man is a damn Geth apologist. Thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. 
He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the Geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yasko during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids, serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. A crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge, and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked to me and said, We're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. He took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. The brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <sighs> That's rail for you. Sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the votes. We just need to give people hope for victory. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. Could just, you know, park them somewhere, I suppose. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Tali a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. Quib Quib. Quib Quib! Can you tell me anything about the LRI? Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active Geth to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. You have a ship named Quib Quib? Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. Stigma? He said stigma. The stigma of these names? He's, he definitely said stigma. Now, his accent means that he didn't say stigma, but his accent also means that he did say stigma of these names. If it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice, respectable name, like the Defrens or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quip Quip. And I will not flee because of petty insults. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Saren are to be lauded. But, like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tali's trial. You are correct. Tali, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end. For both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. 
I do not agree with you, but I understand. So the Geth, I thought, were just automatons. I think in the first game they're presented as basically robots. And they can be controlled by a, a higher entity, which is the thing that the first game is all about. It turns out they're being controlled by the um, the Reapers or whatever. Or the one Reaper that is very important in the first game. Um, I, I also do not fail to r notice the paternalism that comes from this guy. Not only is he being like, oh, they're people, but also they're m our children. Which has a lot of real-world relationships with some of this the, this sort of narratives. I don't believe they are people, though. The Geth are. But I'm not good enough in the lore, so maybe we're gonna find out. We should move on. Goodbye, Charlie Zora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tommy. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Yeah, the stigma is, is, is real. Let's see what else we have around here. Loyalty to the fleet is about more than just killing Geth. Talizora is guilty. Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. Per Admiral Aran's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard Vas Normandy. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of Geth, though. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, all right. I mean that they're afraid the Geth are building or repairing more of themselves from materials on the Alara. I need to do a few things before we leave. Understood. The shuttle is here whenever you're ready to leave. We're just gonna be able to leave, right? Tali Zora, Shepard West Normandy. Are you ready to take the shuttle to the Alarai? Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those Geth, Talizora. Kill us alive. They don't even give us a gun. That's how bad they are. Fortunately, I brought my own. Look, dead people! Look, Tally! Don't you like to see? I'm terrible. Okay. So we have Geth Troopers. Uh, but also... Enemies ahead. Headshot. Taking heavy fire. I should soften them up. Yes! Mm. They're very far away. This is a problem. This is a problem. Ooh, med kits. Why did you go up right against me? You're not a. You're not one of the, the, the other ones that, that do the charge. I don't think. Look, we have a laptop here. With money. Something slowing down the systems. We're taking down the firewalls to rebalance load distribution. Rails are ordered us to bypass standard safeties. Following security protocols will take too long. More money. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Apparently following security protocols is optional. As in... They're just best practices. Medical station here and 4,200 bucks. Pretty good. This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order. Something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. 
Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves. Signs of modification. Clues to their thinking. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages and secured drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home, and father would send a small ship. Haystrom was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. She means to tell me that she doesn't use backpacks? <laughs> no, and besides that, she means that to tell me that her form-fitting rubber suit has more pockets than I think. Pockets, who, wh which are famously generally absent from women's clothing, precisely because it break ups, breaks up lines of, of t like, if you have, like, pants and pockets will screw up the lines. So, um, especially the tighter clothes, it, it's very obvious, which is part of the reason why uh, there's so few pockets in women's clothing. It has to do with form-fitting things and, and, like, priority over how it looks and all this sort of stuff. But that's ridiculous. Have you never heard of a freaking backpack? Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that father actually did all this. Well, um, a hundred percent of the companion quest lines that we have so far are about a parent or a parent figure uh, being disappointed and bad, or disappointing and bad. Oh, I'm sorry, not 100% so far, uh, because the quest line for um, this guy over here uh, was actually not about parents being shitty. So I suppose that's fair, not 100%. But the, all the other ones are about parents being shitty. All of them. So you're in, you're in good company if your, parent, if your father is bad. Also, you call him father as in, in a very specific way, so like a familiar way, so... I think the game is setting it, setting him up to be terrible. 